We've recently given Bobby a spruce up and we thought no time like the present to do a bus tour after three years of owning her. So, uh, come on in. Whoa, oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Should we assume these people have never been on our channel? They don't know what Bobby is. Right, sure. Okay. Bobby is a 1998 uh, Toyota Coaster. Um, 10 points so far. When we bought her, she was a ski shuttle bus in Queenstown. Um, that was in 2019. Oh, pop quiz. Um, pop quiz. How many seats? 27. Ooh. 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 Um... We went down to look, not necessarily to buy, then we thought we loved her, so we bought it. They ripped out a few seats, put on a mattress, and we drove her back to Auckland. A few years later, we've converted her into a fully functional uh, home on wheels. Yeah, with a lot of utility. We call her Bobby the Bougie Bus, because uh, she's a bit bougie. <laughs> Yeah, so notably, there's not that much of our stuff in it because we've been working on the bus recently. Yeah. But, um, yeah, there's still enough stuff to give you a feel of how we do our do, generally. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> so, starting with the lounge, because that's where we are, um, we knew... From quite early on, we wanted a uh, owl couch because we wanted people to be able to fully spread out, and we've actually had a friend sleep in here. Um, but also, we knew that it would give us a lot of storage space. Underneath this couch is the diesel heater because when we were in the South Island, it was freezing. It was ice on the windows, and we thought. Now it's about a good time to install the heater. And then under this couch, oh, our safe. And then under here is Dylan's handiwork. He's got all his electronics which run oh, the whole that. bus. Battery setup, massive inverter, solar charge, uh, uh, shore charger. DC converter, we run a 24 volt system here, um, mainly because the bus is also 24 volts, so we kind of keep it all the same same, um, and we're running some 12 volt wire appliances, that's why we've got a 12 volt converter. And then up the front here, it's kind of our main switch board um, for things, we don't, we actually got a lot more capacity that we can put in there, uh, diesel heater, controller, and battery monitor, so look at that. So we're currently 26 volts. And that's the lounge, and I'll be moving to the kitchen. <laughs> Touch lights. It's one above your head. Touch lights. Because when we found a Nelly when, at night when you enter the bus, you don't want to like flood the bus with light, especially if the curtains are still open. So this way you can kind of control how much light throughout the bus is on and they're very rarely always on moving to the kitchen we have our coffee corner like i said we're a bit bougie and a coffee machine was a must-have for this trip it's worked a treat and the solar panels are enough to power it um, obviously if it's been pretty bad weather for a week we might have to stop the coffee for a few days until there's enough charge um, and then the, uh, the fridge, another must-have, which is uh, full of ciders, juice and almond milk. Most people comment that the fridge is quite small and we kind of agree that we get by. Um, New Zealand's like, you're pretty close to most places and yeah. all the storage, like kitchen and in the boot, there's plenty of places for extra food. Yeah. We've got our butler's sink, which is pretty fancy for a bus. Um, our fancy tap that we got second hand. Most of the bus is second hand to be fair. Pin rose. <laughs> <laughs> Open that. 
our chopping board which is actually the exact cutout of the table we got this table out of uh, Auckland University um, and it was a science lab bench I think yeah so it's a uh, native wood um, tower so that's what it looked like beforehand um, and then we stained it and marine varnished and it's um, holding up pretty well that's what you get nice working bench it's quite good and it gives heaps of space because it's literally a kitchen unit um, it's pretty deep yeah and we keep out water down there yeah so we've actually got a hundred and forty liters fresh in the back and a hundred or 142 in the fresh in the back 162 gray liter gray water storage and around this area and then we've got another 20 liters they're going to show you drinking water um, and the reason we have the drinking water separate although you could drink out of this unit we quite like to be able to pick and choose the water that we're consuming um, so if you go to a, a site for example and they have a natural spring um, it's quite handy, especially if it's not a drive up to and full up. You can take the tank out and go full it up, which yeah. it's worked a treat heaps of times, I think. Yeah, especially when you that one spot that has really good water and you can just fill up on it. Yeah, and you notice the difference as well. We got spoilt with the oven when we were in our little van in Europe, and it's sort of been a must-have to feel like a home for us. We didn't really acknowledge it, guys, but... Oh, sorry, yeah, the curve This wall. is our Grand Designs wall. Um... I had the idea that I wanted it and Dylan executed it just great. Um, was it worth it? I think so. You get a whole lot more space than if you had a hard corner. And it's, it just looks nice I think. Yeah, it's pretty good. And as you come around you sort of enter the bedroom bathroom space. Dylan and I decided to go for a tile floor because all of the homey feels. Um, we've got an airhead compostable toilet which we forked out a little bit for, but we really didn't want to deal with having a black tank um, or a cassette toilet, which you end up having a lot of chemicals and smells and just grossness to deal with. So um, we've really enjoyed having the compostable. Yeah, and so then we have our shower unit here, and that kind of hooks up to here. To here, um, I'm like having a shower yeah so it's really spacious as you can tell <laughs> is that how you shower yeah, yeah. And we tiled that ourselves which is awesome see a toilet nice simple looks the part curtains oh. Oh. this is the one of the best parts about this this is the old remote so for the diesel heater, so if it gets really cold in the morning, you turn that on. Bus meets up to 30 degrees if you want it to. <laughs> um, and then you can get out of bed nice and easy. Water temperature gauge, so you can control what temperature you want to go, when you want to go. We don't have a lot of clothes in here, but this has been really handy. Um, handy. And then we've also got drawer space down here, drawer space down here. We usually keep our shoes under our nook um, and then obviously we have our full bed which is big enough for us to lie sideways it's really cozy and I could just fall asleep right now yeah and it's slightly wider than uh, a normal queen so for me I'm um, five nine and a half yeah Dylan sleeps more like this and then I sleep over there yeah accurate I think so um so yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't suit everyone, but it suits us fine. Also, 1970s awning, um, pretty fancy. We can insert a couple of photos, or maybe video. Um, but yeah, we got that as a second-hand find as well. Anyway, then the exciting bit, which is the back that Dylan's pointing to me. No, that, that's the... <laughs> we all know that side of it Tegan's talking about, but this is just the boot, the garage the space. Garage. So literally, I mean, it's just a bit of plywood. But a massive area from services that goes to our water heater. Can fit heaps in here. Oh, while Tegan jumps in there. You can fit heaps in here. You can fit, yeah, so if you're smuggling a few people, 
can at least fit a couple of uh, Tegans. And that's the side of the bus. Oh, there's Tegan. The exciting bit. Let's see if we can zoom up on him. It's si it's silhouetted. And I was running far away and I could live some words someday. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Well, this is the roof deck. That was the most haggity bus tour ever. Yeah, and it's probably going to be a lot of microphone interruptions. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> um, also, uh, thanks to all the cider supporter people so far. Yeah. Really appreciate it. We'll add that video on the end because it's just kind of crack up. <laughs> yeah, it's that, that video really started off as nothing and then, I don't know, a bit of, bit of creation. And Oh. <laughs> that should go. Um, <laughs> cool. And that was our bus tour. I'm sure everyone has just lived up to their expectations. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs>